In this video, we're going to talk about handles. And you might be thinking, what's there to talk about with a handle? It's just a handle. Well, that's uh, true for some of the, the handles you might be thinking of, like what you might see on um, like a dresser drawer or a kitchen cabinet or something like that. Those are called pull handles. And there are quite a few different styles here that you can choose from. Um, and these are pretty basic and standard. I'm not sure that there is a lot to say here other that other than McMaster is a great place to look for uh, some handles like this. Uh, as with everything they provide, as with the most of their things, that is, they provide CAD models of these handles. So you can download them and open them up in uh, your, your CAD environment and add them to your CAD assembly. So that's really, really useful. Um, the other kind of handles that I wanted to look at were machine handles. and uh, they're categorized as machine handles, but they, you can you can use them wherever you want. Uh, this type right here, um, adjustable position handles with threaded stud. What a great description! Uh, these can be thought of as um, like a uh, a thumb screw on steroids. That's more or less what it is. You can use this like you would a thumb screw to, to tighten something down or attach something, but there's a really long uh, lever arm here which gives you great mechanical advantage and allows you to really torque it down very tight. The other nice thing about this, and this is where the adjustable position part comes in, you can actually disengage the torque transmission of these handles by uh, lifting the handle up axially and rotate, rotating it back to whatever position you want to start from again and then uh, letting it uh, fall back down at which point it will re-engage the, uh, uh, the torque transmission and, and then you can continue tightening it, tightening it down. And that's really, really useful where maybe you're working in a, a, a situation where there are limited uh, spatial uh, opportunities, you know, maybe you only have access to, to to move this 180 degrees to rotate your handle 180 degrees and then it's blocked by something else, whatever that is. And this is, uh, this this allows you to still be able to have, you know, infinite adjustability as far as tightening your, um, uh, your handle onto your workpiece, but still work within the constraints of, you know, whatever your, uh, your spatial constraints are. Um, another another version is these hand wheels, and these hand wheels allow you to rotate something. Uh, some of them will come with um, uh, 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 like a, a square hole in the middle, and you'll need to uh, ensure that your your interface maybe you're interfacing with some kind of shaft or axle, and you'll have to put a square profile at the end of that axle for it to fit on these these hand wheels. Um, but others just have a, a straight circular bore that goes through a, a hole that goes through the middle, and uh, they might they might use a set screw or something like that to bind the uh, the hand wheel to your uh, your axle or your shaft, but these just uh, allow you to rotate something, and these are often used on you know various machines or things like that. Here's a really quick example of how we used some pull handles on um, uh, a recent design. So this was just a, a long aluminum base plate. Uh, it's about 65 inches long, so it's pretty big and unwieldy, and we wanted there to be uh, a, an easy way for an operator to to pick this up or to move it you know around as needed and so we just we put four little pull handles uh, not that little I think these are about four inches wide or you know some standard width that's comfortable for most people to hold uh, and they're they're held in there with some screws on the bottom we've got some socket head screws down here I'll make this ba base plate transparent so we can see a little bit better and these handles just have female uh, threaded holes on, on each side. In fact, if we make that transparent as well, there you go. You can see those those threaded holes in there. Um, uh, you might notice that uh, our our screws don't show threads on them. They actually do download from Mac McMaster with the actual threads, but sometimes the the thread features, especially if you have a lot of them in your assembly, they can tend to bog down the performance of your system. So oftentimes we'll just suppress that the the actual ge geometry threads on the uh, on the the hardware. So anyway, if you're wondering, that's that's why they're missing there. But 
this lesson is about handles, so that is how we implemented a really simple handle uh, on this particular model and, and made it easier for the operator to uh, move this thing around as needed. Here's an example of a, an adjustable position handle like we saw on the McMaster website right here. So it's a, a nice long handle um, and it, it provides you with enough length to get some great mechanical advantage and, and really torque this thing down. Um, this, this particular situation here we have uh, is a carriage and on the inside of that carriage, let's see if we can see it or not, there is a nut. There it is kind of rotated the, the wrong way, uh, but uh, that nut is in there and it allows us to lock down the position of this carriage relative to this uh, aluminum extrusion. This is one of those T-slot extrusions, like an 80-20 part, uh, but with, with this uh, position adjustable handle, we can easily lock down the carriage relative to the rail, uh, and you'll, you'll see that we can't rotate this handle all the way around 360 degrees because it would run into the base plate. Uh, and that's fine because this is one of those position adjustable handles. So what happens when you get to the end of your rotational travel and moving it any further, rotating it any further would cause you to run into uh, an obstacle, in, in this case the base plate. You just, you, you, you pull the handle out axially. So if we're looking at it, you know, this in this direction, you would take this handle and you would pull it to the left, and then you would rotate it. Say maybe our handle is 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 uh, oriented this way, right? So we can't rotate it any farther because it'll hit the base plate. So you'd pull that handle out, rotate it back in the other direction, 180 degrees, allow that handle to be pulled back in, and there is a, a spring in there that will cause it to be pulled back in axially. It would be pulled back to the right. Um, and then it would be locked in position and, and engaged and ready to transmit torque again. So there's an example of uh, a, a position adjustable handle. If you found this content helpful, consider enrolling in our signature program at mypipelineacademy.com. Whether you're an individual interested in beginning a new career as a mechanical designer or a company interested in training your new engineering hires. Our signature program helps students develop the practical skills they need to be productive mechanical design engineers. Seating is limited. We hope to see you there soon.